Hi everyone, I'm Diana Rocco. Thanks for joining us today. Today we are having a very important discussion about COVID-19 and how it affects people living with celiac disease. Celiac disease is a very serious autoimmune disease that affects an estimated 3.2 million Americans. Currently, the only treatment is a gluten-free diet. Today, I'm joined by Alice Bass, the CEO of Beyond Celiac and Beyond Celiac Chief Science and Strategy Officer, Dr. Salvo Aleshi. Dr. Salvo Aleshi, I'd like to start with you. We've been living with this pandemic for over a year now. How have you found that it has affected people living with celiac disease differently than someone who is otherwise healthy? One of the things that we have done is we have deployed uh, a few surveys uh, to do a pulse check uh, on our patient and try to understand how uh, COVID-19 change uh, basic things in their life and fear of getting gluten and so on. And uh, there, there are a few findings that, uh, again, are probably not so surprise, uh, surprising. Uh, for example, uh, we learned that people with uh, uh, celiac now uh, tend to uh, you know, cook more at home, uh, which one would think uh, exposed them less to the risk of being, uh, you know, to gluten contamination, but apparently we didn't see any striking differences. Even if uh, patient, uh, people with celiac say that because they don't constantly eat out, uh, they feel less fear of being gluten. So Alice, I'd like to bring you in on this. This pandemic has really changed everybody's outlook on the way they do business, on how they've been living their lives. And as we start transitioning, back into a little bit of normalcy, this uh, pre-pandemic world. What are some of the biggest questions you've been getting from people over the last year? And how has this pandemic really changed how Beyond Celiac has conducted business? Well, that's a great question, Diana. We, you know, everyone has questions on how they're, you know, what's their life going to be like as they re-enter the world? I mean, we've, We've taken their questions prior to this point in time, which was, you know, will I get a more severe case of COVID if I do get COVID? Our own research, as well as research done um, by other institutions, both in the United States and abroad, are clearly demonstrated that uh, having CDA per se doesn't expose people to increased risk of contracted COVID, of uh, having a more severe form of COVID or being hospitalized by COVID. So that was a very important share of findings. And now the questions are, if I get a vaccine, is, am I gonna have a, a more severe reaction? What are my symptoms gonna be? Are there gonna be side effects to the vaccine? And again, at this stage, at least we have not heard or seen any report uh, to suggest either an increased risk in people with patient uh, with celiac of developing side effect from any of the vaccines available in the United States or having more severe side effects. So I should point out that celiac disease is definitely not per se a contraindication to being uh, vaccinated. So again, we are addressing all of the questions that have been posed to us by our community. We've also had to be very flexible with our programming. From the very start of the pandemic, uh, we have put a number of efforts in place to reach out uh, to our uh, community, uh, share information. We have created some dedicated resources like a dedicated website, uh, which uh, we update uh, on, on a regular basis with some of the, uh, the la latest uh, scientific based uh, information as well as data from our own research. Uh, we had quite a few findings, some of which probably are common uh, um, between the Syria population and the general population, some may be more specific to your point, to our patient community. People with celiac disease are starting to tell me that they're, you know, they feel like they've, they're in this bubble and they're able to eat without fear, but at the same time, they're, they're, there is this a little bit of anxiety with being able to go out and eat in restaurants again. This is such an important discussion. Thank you both so much for the work that you're doing and for joining me here today.